for one. Happy Saturday. I'm in the kitchen today and Mia is just wrecking the living room. She's taking the um, pages out of the printer and honestly, I'm just letting her. Careful, honey. <laughs> loving her she's just a girl she's just a baby and she's doing her thing this is what my hair is looking like oh, I have the hiccups I work tonight so I'm definitely gonna be refreshing that a little bit later on but I'm making some stewed pork and I just thought oh my god I haven't picked my camera up in a while oh I should pick it up yesterday I wanted to vlog but the last couple of days I've been looking for the charger for that other camera and I'm, I'm so unsettled that I can't find it and I know Mia got hold of it. I just don't know where to look or where to look for it. And obviously, I must have put it up because I know she's she t touches things, but I just don't know where I put it. I don't know where I put it. Anyways, right now I'm letting my brown sugar brown in the hot oil before I put my pieces of pork that are basically kind of diced in it i want this pork to be really soft and tender so i'm going to be cooking it for a while i thought about transferring it to the slow cooker but i don't think that's necessary but um yeah it's nicely seasoned and everything and we're here i'm wearing this little two-piece set that i've had for quite a while now and um yeah we're here i also was contemplating what i'm going to do to my hair if i want to put a you part on or if i want to Continue with the braids, but I really do love the braids. I love how quick and easy they are. If I had been tying it down since um, yesterday morning when I came home from work, they would have been just fine for now. But also, I could really go in the shower, like wash them out really quickly and like rebraid them. But I don't think I'm gonna have to do that. I'll just need to like go around the edges with it and literally just rebraid it. So it's kind of where we're at, and that's what we have going on. So. The sugar is browning. This is what it looks like if you've never used sugar instead of browning. That's what we're looking like. But yeah, we're in the kitchen today. Nothing much really going on. I would have gone for a walk except it's kind of cold outside. And I really don't like taking me outside when it's not more warm. Because it's in the 50s. Because then she's cold, you know, her little nose is running. It's quite a bit much and I don't really want to put her through that. I'm waiting for it to be done browning so I can put these minced garlic that I have in there ever since I had COVID. Um, in January of 2023, I've been incorporating a lot of garlic in my food. Because I never was one who liked the garlic prior to that. Oh, Facebook just reminded me of a picture of 10 years ago with Dijanae at the beach. Look how teeny tiny she was. Oh. Goodness, I'm going to save it and send it to her. Actually, I'm going to call her. FaceTime Dejanae. Bye, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And happy Sunday. Today is Mother's Day. And um, I had planned to go to church and everything. I even went ahead and took out an iron or outfits and put it out so that this morning when I came home, if I only had time for us to get ready for work, then it would have been fine. But last night, I was, it was not really a good shift to be honest, but I was also experiencing a little headache and I had to work on that so I didn't get to sleep. And the fact that I didn't get to sleep by morning, I was so very exhausted. So I came home and I crashed and burned. I didn't sleep. Did I even eat breakfast? No. Did I? If I ate, I can't even... If I ate, I can't even remember what it is that I ate. And that's just basically showing you the morning I've had. Um, so we slept. We just woke up till 
Mia's dad telling me, telling me that Mia got me something. <laughs> Initially, I thought that that was me. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. But that happens to be Mia with three teeth and some braids. <laughs> I don't know. But um, he ended up getting, this is what the box looks like. So very cute. Carefully selected. Excellent fruit. This is what the box looks like. It is a edible arrangement. My favorite part of it is the bow on the top. It's chocolate covered strawberries, white chocolate. And um, it's, uh, it's a Prosecco and orange juice to make a mimosa. Uh, cho pink chocolate covered pretzels. He, I guess he chose pink because pink is my favorite color. Strawberry. Honey. White chocolate covered. Um, Rice Krispie Treat. I do like Rice Krispie Treat. And these round ones, which are a really good touch, are Oreos dipped in chocolate. This one says Happy Mother's Day. Very stunning, I think. Very, very cute. A cute touch. So, um, yeah. And I think we have some marshmallows covered in pink chocolate as well, but it's very pretty. And I can't wait till. Oh, this one says, Love you, Mom. Again, there was so much thought that went into the pieces in this box. I love that. Have to take a picture so it will last forever. But yes, that's what we have here. The chocolate is so sweet. I prefer white chocolate because <laughs> it is sweeter. You know, dark chocolate is a little bit bitter, but this is so very sweet. The card, I love cards. I'm going to write the date on there and I'm going to keep it. Of course, Mia had to seal it with a kiss by biting one of the edges. But, you know, it's just Mia for us. So we successfully added that to my stack of cards and that's very, very cute. So, um, yeah. I'm going to put this on the kitchen table and just eat it periodically. <laughs> Mia is here just cutting up. Anyway, that's all for now. See you guys later.